He resigned from the U.S. Congress after being convicted of sexual assault and solicitation of child pornography. Now he's facing charges in a Zimbabwe court. Who is he? Africa 54's Demiake Mokaleli is here to tell us. Demi. Yes, Vincent. Well, a former U.S. congressman is in hot water in Zimbabwe on charges relating to pornography. Nathan Frendino has that story. Former U.S. Congressman Mel Reynolds pleads not guilty to charges of possessing pornographic images. You guys must be taken for international media, huh? Reynolds was arrested earlier this week at a hotel in Zimbabwe. A charge sheet said Reynolds had nude photos and videos of men and women having sex on his phone. Possession of pornography is illegal in Zimbabwe. I'm doing fine. The 62-year-old also faces charges of staying in the country without a valid visa. Reynolds has a history of run-ins with the law. He resigned from Congress in 1995 after being convicted of sexual assault, obstruction of justice, and solicitation of child pornography. That was Nathan Frendino uh, filing that report. Now for more details, we come back here in Studio, 50, uh, Studio 52 and we have Blessing Zulu of VOA Zimbabwe Service with us and he's going to give us updates on the story. Thanks for joining us today, Blessing. The pleasure is mine. What's the update uh, with Mr. Reynolds? Is he in jail still? Yes, he's still in uh, what is uh, called uh, remand uh, prison uh, mm -hmm. in Harare. Uh, he was taken to court uh, again uh, today, uh, but the lawyer pleaded for more time because he said he wanted to uh, consult uh, with him over a number of issues. So the uh, courts uh, agreed, so we expect that he'll be back in court again tomorrow. He's facing quite serious charges, pornography and um, also overstaying his visa and faces up mm -hmm. to two years imprisonment. Could he actually be arrested in Zimbabwe and he, I mean jailed for that time? Uh, he could be, uh, but uh, from uh, the sources that we are talking to, uh, he is likely to be, uh, to be deported mm -hmm. because uh, uh, the most serious charge here is that of uh, pornography. You know, in Zimbabwe's... Um, under Zimbabwe's strict censorship laws, you are not allowed to possess uh, pornography. It can uh, carry a sentence of up to two years. Uh, but we do not see him going to uh, jail, at least according to our government sources. Has the, has the U.S. officials or anyone else come to his defense? What, are the, what is the U.S. saying about this? He's a former congressman and obviously a U.S. citizen. We have been uh, talking to the U.S. Embassy in uh, Zimbabwe and they are saying at the moment it is still uh, premature to comment. So they've uh, decided not to uh, get involved at this juncture. That's what they are telling us. Now to use a, a maybe not so conventional term, he's a bit scandalous, uh, Mr. Reynolds at least. I know he was a former congressman mm -hmm. here in the U.S. and has been having this trail of sexual charges, of pornography and, and also um, underage mm -hmm. indulgences. But in terms of Zimbabwe, it seems like he's been doing a lot, bringing investment worth more than $140 million, and he's been considered mm -hmm. a friend of Mugabe trying to shake off these sanctions that are on him. So how did he end up in jail? What is... Uh, did something change? Also, according to our government uh, sources, it might uh, also be uh, a, a deal uh, mm -hmm. that went bad, because last year, uh, around September, September 5, to be precise, mm -hmm. uh, he was in Harare saying that uh, he was going to uh, uh, bring investors who were going to build a Hilton hotel worth more than uh, $145 million. It mm -hmm. was expected uh, to begin in April, but not much has been done. And also the issue of sanctions, mm -hmm. uh, even when he was arrested, he was telling detectives that, uh, you know, he has done a lot for President Robert Mugabe uh, to ensure that sanctions imposed by the U.S. on him and his inner circle are removed. Uh, but nothing uh, much has been uh, done on that front. The U.S. has maintained sanctions. So I don't think uh, he has uh, completed his mission. So maybe that's why he has fallen out of favor. Well, thank you for giving us all the details on that particular development. Thank you so much. Thank you. Blessing Zulu is uh, with VOA's Zimbabwe Service.